A lot of people out there that watch my channel know that I have had a newfound love recently of CZ pistols. So a lot of people have been asking me, what do I think of the new striker fired CZ, the P10 Compact? Well, to be honest with you, I think it's another striker fired pistol. They're putting a pistol out that although it will get them a new portion of the market that they've never been in before, I don't really think it's going to be that special because there's lots of really good striker fired pistols already available. What ZZ excelled at was making guns that were double action, single action, hammer fired polymer guns. That's kind of what made them a little more unique and a little more special because there aren't as many of those guns on the market as they are just simple uh, striker fired guns. And you know, that got me thinking. One thing I don't talk a lot about on this channel is striker fired guns because they're not my favorite. I don't love polymer guns, period. I don't love striker fired guns. I prefer hammer fired guns. And people say, well, why? Well, because they're superior. So even when I do go with a polymer gun or a semi-automatic gun, I usually go with a double action, single action, hammer fired gun but I do appreciate a good striker fired gun. So today I thought I would make a list of what I think are the top five striker fired carry guns. And no, the CZ P10 is not going to be on the list. It is way too early to even say if it's a decent gun, much less one of the top five. There's lots of guns in this category that have been out there for a while, have proven themselves, and they're great guns. So those are the ones that are gonna be on this list of top five striker fired carry guns. At number five is going to be the Smith & Wesson M&P. Now, I know a lot of people would put this gun a lot higher, but you know, I've really tried to like this gun and tried and tried and tried to like this gun, but it's just not my favorite. It's just not something I prefer. Now, that doesn't mean I can't recognize that it's still a great gun. And I know a lot of people out there carry it and they carry it because it is a great gun. I really like the build quality on them. I love the fact that the slide is stainless steel. They have pretty decent sights on them when they come from the factory and you can get better sights for them very easily. They're starting to be a good secondary market for these guns and aftermarket for parts for these guns, but I just overall don't love it. The grip to me feels a little bit blobbish and I really don't like the way they do their two part trigger. I'm always afraid I'm gonna break it just firing the gun. So. I just don't love it, but I still do recognize that it is easily one of the top five striker fired carry guns on the market today. So I'm gonna put it at number five. Now, number four for me is not gonna surprise anyone. I've said before how much I like this gun. It is a Walther gun and it is the Walther P99. Now the Walther P99 is a double action, single action striker fired gun with a decocker, which is a little different than a lot of the striker fired guns. A lot of striker fired guns are double action only and do not have a decocker. This is different. I like the way this gun operates. It's a proven gun. It's a great gun. And I really love this gun. It's one of my favorite striker fired guns, period. But I know that double action, single action trigger isn't for everyone. So I'm gonna put it at number four on my list of best striker fired carry guns. Now my number three gun might really surprise a lot of people and it is also a Walther, but it is the Walther PPQ. Now I have gone on record before of saying that this is the best striker fired gun ever made and I still stand by that, but the reason it isn't higher up on the list of carry guns is I worry about how light that trigger is. I almost think the trigger is a little bit too light for concealed carry. And it seems Walther might agree with me because when they market this gun, they do not emphasize concealed carry for this trigger. In fact, they have even said themselves that it might be a little light for concealed carry, that it is better as a light duty trigger. So they don't even call it a concealed carry trigger. But other than that, it is easily one of the best polymer striker fired guns ever made. And the lowest I could possibly put it on this list, despite that light trigger, is number three. Now the number two gun on the list isn't going to surprise anybody. It is the Glock 19 or Glock 23, whichever one you choose. That size Glock, the compact Glock, is in my opinion, the number two striker fired carry gun. They are just easy to use. You can easily customize them to be anything you want them to be. You know, you can change any part on them pretty easily. Now, I specifically like the new Vickers Glock 19. It's got a really nice set of features to it. I like the magazine plate. I like the sights. I like everything about it. If you're going to have a Glock 19 straight out of the box that I think is perfect, you know, good to go, the Vickers Tactical Glock 19 is the one to get. And the Glock 19 itself definitely deserves, or the 23 if you like a 40 caliber, definitely deserves the number two position on my list of best striker fired carry guns. 
Now, the number one gun on my list is something I have come to the conclusion that I think it's the best after a long time of trying a lot of different striker-fired guns. I've put a lot of effort in the last year into firing a lot of striker-fired guns, trying a lot of striker-fired guns, renting them, whatever. I wanted to get a lot of experience with them. And over that time, I've really come to appreciate a gun that I really, really liked when it first came out, and a lot of people were really singing the praises of when it first came out, but I just thought it was too new. But now, I've spent enough time with it, I really like it, I think it's the best striker-fired carry gun you can get, and that is the SIG P320 Compact. This is basically just a striker-fired version of the SIG P250. It maintains that modular capacity. You know, the firing control unit is the only part of the gun that's an actual registered gun. You can change the slide, the barrel, the frame, etc. This gun is about the same size as the Glock 19, but to me it has a better grip angle, has a better grip feel, it balances better, it shoots better. It's just all over a little bit better gun than the Glock and it definitely feels better made, and they do use stainless steel slides, which is another thing that I really like about this gun, and they generally come with night sights. You can easily get them with night sights straight from the factory and not have to change anything. The best part about this gun, though, is the trigger. It has an amazing trigger. It's very PPQ-like. It's a lot less clunky and mechanical feeling than the Glock. It's very much like the PPQ trigger, just not quite as light and crisp, so it actually gives you a little bit more feedback when you're using it, especially in a self-defense situation. And it does have a really nice, short, clicky reset that a lot of people will love. So there you have my list of what I think are the top five best striker-fired carry guns. Now, you might say to yourself, oh, well, you're just jumping on the bandwagon with the SIG. You're just saying you like it more than the other guns. That's not true. I'm not just talking the talk. I'm actually walking the walk because that is the gun I recently bought for my birthday, which is next week. And for the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be carrying this gun because I want to give you a review on it as a carry gun. So look for some videos coming in the near future with a little bit more information on what I think is the best striker-fired polymer gun you can possibly carry.